Hey everyone, welcome to Cricut Time. If you like this video, subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut. As you've probably noticed, there is a new kerning feature in Cricut Design Space. Today, I'm going to walk you through what it is and how to use it. Have you ever tried to write something in Design Space using cursive writing, only to find that the letters ended up like this? It can be annoying to ungroup them and move around the letters to put them together like they should be. This is where the new kerning feature comes in. Kerning refers to the space between letters in a text box. If a specific font is not kerned, when you go to use it, the spaces between the letters might be off and require some adjustment. How do you tell which ones are and are not kerned? Just click on the text box and put in your quote. Then click fonts, and up on the top menu, you will see that current fonts is checked off. With the latest update, current fonts is automatically selected by default. Any of these fonts will be user-friendly, and the spacing between the letters will be ready to use. If you don't see the specific font that you're looking for in this menu, just uncheck the box and scroll to find your favorite font. I have noticed that some of the fonts that I've downloaded in sites like defont.com aren't in the current list, but there are some that are working properly. Let's choose two different fonts, one that is current and one that is not, and I'll show you the difference. In the one on the left, you can see that the writing is connected and well spaced. All I would have to do is weld it together and then it would be ready to cut. In this font on the right, however, I would need to adjust the letter spacing, ungroup the letters, and then move individual letters that still looked out of place. After all those extra steps, I could then weld them together before I could cut. Well, there you have it. That is everything you need to know about what current fonts are and how to use them. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe for more project ideas and tutorials on all things Cricut.